Hi guys, Shane here, Old Flight Simmer. Welcome to another test drive video. This is where we take a uh, aircraft, a scenery, a utility, and we'll take it for a spin around a block and I'll give you my first impressions. Um, but this is a special uh, test drive because we're actually going to do a test drive series. This is going to be uh, video one of a three part series and we're going to be checking out the PMDG DC6 and we're going to be taking it um, for a spin and taking a really good look at the artificial flight engineer that's the AFE and how this incredible aircraft that comes to life um, everybody can actually have a go doesn't matter what uh, flight skills you are um, everybody can have a go at it with the um, AFE so within saying that um, let's take a look at the outside and have a look at the beautiful uh, aircraft in the ANSAT livery as we take a look at the outside, I'll give you a little bit of history about the DC-6. So it was produced uh, between 1946 and 1958. Uh, there was uh, 704 of them actually built. And the first flight was uh, February 15th, uh, 1946. Now there's three types of uh, DC-6, the DC-6, DC-6A and the DC-6B. So this is the actual B variant. Now if my information is correct, the DC-6B can have a capacity up to 42 to 89 uh, passengers. Its uh, cruise speed is 350 mile per hour or 507 kilometers an hour if you are from my neck of the woods. Ceiling is 25,000 and just in case you wanted to know, it's got Pratt and Whitney R2800 double wasp radial engines, 2,500 horsepower with a water injection in each and I'll tell you what you'll get to hear it a little bit later they sound absolutely awesome so let's talk about what PMDG have done as we're already taking a look around a quarter of the aircraft you can really see the detail that um, PMDG do as always and they always have done that and they've done it with this aircraft and to, to bring it up with recent times and the powerful that the simulators have now it works really well so I think the big difference is they use photo real um, textures for their aircraft and it gives you the ability to see um, every little you know rivet and all that sort of stuff plus they spend a lot of time in their modeling to be accurate and I think in this one they actually use three three of you uh, real world uh, aircraft um, blueprints so to speak so so we'll zoom a little bit closer on the tail here and you can really see the detail so to me this um, aircraft ticks two boxes it ticks the box for the simmer that wants something that looks beautiful it ticks the box for the simmer that wants to have uh, study level aircraft so um, looking absolutely awesome look at the landing gear there and you can see the um, the different hoses for for the hydraulics and even if you ha have a look you can see where the tire um, on the tread um, it's, it's worn off so they have a different shade so they look absolutely fantastic so but it is to uh, PMDG uh, detail that we have known to love and to expect now but um, metal looks like metal and as we can see um, with the soot and stuff from the engines there looks phenomenal so the DC-6 is available in prepared for version 3 and 4, not compatible with version 2. You can also get it for FSX and FSX Steam Edition and it obviously launched on X-Plane 10 originally and I believe they are actually, but don't quote me, uh, working on to making it X-Plane 11 uh, compatible and it will look insane with X-Plane 11 lighting. But we've been saying that. Let's take a look at the side menu options and see all the goodies that also that was packed in with this aircraft. So PMDG have included this cool little toolbar and we'll just go through it now because um, you use it quite a lot. So the first one is the ramp manager that really helps with the immersion feel when you're on the apron by including uh, things like the pitot heat covers and engine oil um, pans and uh, turning the um, tow bar and 
all that sort of stuff that's actually on there. So um, you can also select uh, the aircraft to be in different statuses like cold and dark, ready to start and ready for taxi. You can turn the cockpit lighting on and things like that. So you can see I'm actually uh, pulling away the front cabin stairs and uh, closing things up to get ready for our... Um, engine start that we'll be doing shortly but obviously everything is functional and it is animated which is really cool so the next part is the fuel and load manager so as you can see with the detail I put in there as I'm putting in more people in or I'm going to put some baggage in you can see the weight of the aircraft um, actually shifted and you can see that what I'm actually doing with the fuel so it makes it nice and easy to set your fuel you can even set it to 50% or 100% so it makes it nice and easy to do the loadout for the aircraft this is the AFE um, we'll go into that in more uh, detail um, this really brings um, your aircraft to life you can see your total airframe hours, you can see your total engine hours, you can then top up fluids such as the anti-ice and um, the oil. So you need to maintain and keep the health of your aircraft. Next one is the settings which is pretty much self-explanatory and I've whizzed through all those already and <laughs> the GPS. But anyways, let's jump into the cockpit and um, bring this Cloudmaster to life. So now we're in the cockpit and damn does it look good to have a bit of spin around but uh, we're going to get the artificial flight engineer up. So this video is about getting this aircraft started up, taxi and on hold uh, for the runway. The next video will be about taking off using the um, GPS and um, looking at some lighting as well. But um, we'll bring up the AFE and we'll do the before start engine uh, checklist and I will be a little bit quiet so you can um, have a listen to it. Cockpit pre-flight. Now, if you haven't picked it up yet, the AFE is your virtual flight engineer. So your virtual Checked. flight engineer will go through the different sections um, of the starting of the aircraft or whatnot, and it will actually do all the work for you. Um, but the real still task left, just like um, starting the engines, which we'll do in a second, you have to do for yourself, but um, it does oh, most of it for you. You can see Out. the things are switching on and off, so you can actually learn um, how to actually do things. But there also is a very detailed uh, manual that can um, help you with this stuff as well. But this means that this aircraft is available to fly for pretty much every uh, simulator um, level. Before start checks complete, start engines. So the AFE has uh, got the aircraft ready for engine start. So I've had GSX push us back. So um, there's four engines. So we start with engine three, then four, then one and two. And the AFE has got everything set up for engine three. Um, basically, this is my flow. So there's the fuel pump. So we would turn the fuel pump on. The selector is already set for three. Um, the ignition is already set to both. So we have the prime the start and the boost so now we pretty much need just to um, select the start and then we'll hit the prime and then we'll hit the boost and then she will come to life so turning on fuel pump number three we'll start the engines three. on three we'll hit the prime Six. and on 12 we will Five. hit the boost. Twelve. And she shakes a little bit, comes to life, listen to that sound. Twelve. 
And uh, we'll take a look at uh, engine number three so you can see her in action. Uh, we'll have to jump out of the cockpit to get a half a decent look. But there she is. So now let's get the other three up and running. So we'll select engine uh, number four, we'll put the ignition to uh, both, we'll turn the boost pumps on, but I'll need to go and put the fuel in. We'll just go back up to the overhead, and we'll put the fuel pump on, and for number four. We'll start the process. So, engine start, prime, and boost, and there she comes live. Now I'm going to quickly do the same thing for engine one and two on the left side. Um, I'll be quiet so you can hear all the sounds. But remember, this is my flow, not exactly uh, to the moon. But um, I'll let you uh, listen away. And there she is, engine start. So we'll get our friend the AFE to uh, pop up again and we'll get uh, the after start checklist complete. And then we will get ourselves ready to taxi to a runway 16. And man, did those radio and engines sound awesome on the outside. But we're just going to get our mate, the AFE, to do the after start checklist. Checked and on. Emergency lights. Armed. Ground power. Removed. After start checks complete. So the aircraft is basically are ready for taxi but I just wanted to take the time and show you guys the effort of the aircraft actually coming to life everything is uh, vibrating and wobbling around from the yoke to the compass um, to the dash to the instruments just have a look at that and they will change their frequency of vibration depending on the input that you put in uh, to the throttles even the little oxygen hose over there is uh, wobbling around done a fantastic job it makes this aircraft really feel uh, vintage and it is something cool look at the actual dials wobbling around 
Well done, PMDG. You've actually got this down to fine art, so it um, makes it exciting to fly. So uh, let's get ready for taxi. Alrighty. There's, uh, when it comes to taxing, there's, um, my impressions are there's two people. There's people that can taxi and there's people that just get by. Well, I'll be honest and say I'm one of those people that can say I just get by. But when it comes to this aircraft, <laughs> it makes me look like, uh, well, let's just say I look pretty good when I actually taxi because it actually does and goes um, the way that it's meant to go. So it doesn't get away from you. Um, you use those pedals um, and it does everything um, seamlessly so which is really cool and it's a pleasure for someone that doesn't have the best taxiing skills uh, such as me so as for the flight details for this three-part series we are starting off in Orbex uh, Melbourne which is YMML which is payway we'll be flying across and I've done this a couple of times I actually like the flight to a Launceston in Tasmania Australia which is um, across the Australian Bights um, and that's going to Orbex uh, freeware as well so um, that's the flight. The wind is a favouring of runway 16, so where I'm from, it's just a couple of minute taxi uh, down. But I thought I'd show a couple of different views of in the cockpit, on the wing, um, outside the aircraft, just so you can see the aircraft and the noise and the sound and uh, how we actually taxi. And it uh, looks like we've got a default fuel truck, I believe, that wants to play uh, chicken. So uh, that would be right. That takes some of the immersion out of it. But anyways, we'll um, throw to a different view as he goes for it. So we're pretty much uh, nearly finished our taxi to runway 16. Once we get there, we'll hold short. Um, we'll get our before takeoff uh, procedures done with the AFE, and then uh, we will be ready for takeoff and part two of the video. So we've got our AFE going through the uh, before takeoff checklist. So as you can see, he does everything for you and takes all the guesswork out. Bruce pumps. Bruce pumps on low. Fuel selector and crossfeed. Main tanks and crossfeed off. Autopilot and carb heat. Off and cold. Hydraulic system. 
down, forward, pressure quantity checked, okay. Flaps 20. Flaps set 20. Windows of turbine. Closed and on. Controls. Dust lock released. Free. Pitoheater. On. Mixture and cow flaps. Rich and locked. Set. Transponder. On. Landing lights. So as you can see, anything that the AFE does as well takes time for it to do. So for instance, uh, just now it was waiting for the lights to actually retract before he went to the next part of the checklist, which is really cool and it helps with that immersion feeling as well. So thank you very much for watching the video of part one of part three of this uh, test drive. So hopefully be able to get the use of the AFE and uh, taxing and the startup procedures. And I'll see you in part two very shortly. Have a good day.